Hey, thank you for checking out the video. In this one, we're gonna be trying to get some new information out into the world. There's not a lot on the internet at all about the Baton Turbo from Olight and how it performs using CR123A batteries. Um, it is well known that this flashlight can use these batteries because it includes this adapter here. Um, this is Olight's little adapter. So you can use a CR123A battery. These CR123A batteries, by the way, are provided to us by Power Owl Whistle Special. Thank you to them um, for enabling us to do this test. But yeah, I was flipping through the manual and trying to find information online about like run times and lumen output performance info, about the Baton Turbo with a CR123A battery, and nothing is really out there. My own review on the Baton Turbo didn't use any CR123A batteries, so we're gonna get some beam shots in this video. Also do a runtime test um, using one of these batteries. And I found something super interesting. I've already done the tests and I've already seen the beam. Um, definitely something surprising to me. Hopefully it'll be useful information to you as well. But yeah, to set up the stage just uh, to compare here, this is obviously the included 18350 from Olight and it is much bigger in size than the little power I was saw here. Rechargeable battery here from Olight, proprietary. Um, nominal voltage is higher at 3.6. This only has a voltage of three, three volt. Um, a 1500 milliamp hour capacity claimed on the Power Owl, and then 1100 milliamp hour capacity claimed on Olight's battery. So even though this is smaller, it claims to have more capacity. So we're gonna kind of put that to the test as well in this video. So yeah, that does involve some almost science as I like to call it when we're doing a runtime test. But first I wanted to show you kind of a uh, first little thing to be aware of when using a CR123A battery in the Baton Turbo. So you gotta be using this little sleeve that is included with the Baton Turbo and they have marked it here, negative and positive. So just make sure you line that up when you place your battery in. And then the next thing about the Baton Turbo, most people who are familiar with this light already know. This uh, head portion connects with the negative end. So you're gonna wanna make sure you line that up properly. Positive side points down into the light and then negative toward the head. So yeah, once you do this, you're gonna see the status illuminators light up here, just like that. But after that, um, normally with the included battery, you see your your battery status on here, over here on the right with these LEDs, and then over here on the left, your output setting. With a CR123 battery, you do not get those. So those don't illuminate at all. So that's the first little difference just to be aware of. Didn't know that really. Second thing to be aware of, you do get four of the five modes with a CR123A battery. You do get moonlight. So if you want that, that still works. You can barely tell, but it is on. You get low medium, high, but let's try to get to turbo. No turbo. And that's probably because the max voltage on these is three as opposed to 3.6. That's my guess anyway. But yeah, that's just something to be aware of as well. But let's check out the beam shots and then we will conduct the runtime test. You're gonna have to let me know if you see the same thing, but during these beam shots, I noticed that the Output settings seem to correspond to those of the Baton Turbo using its included 18350 battery. So in other words, like the sublumen and moonlight mode still appears to be a sublumen and moonlight mode. The low mode is still appears to be about 10 lumens, the medium mode about 60, and the high mode about 300. So yeah, those correspond pretty well, so that's nice if you're used to it and if you like those stepped output settings of the Baton Turbo, you pretty much get the same ones, moonlight up through high. So that's interesting and um, neat you do not get turbo as we've been over before. So that's gonna bum some people out. Although usually turbo, um, you know, it can be practical and stuff like that, but usually you're not using turbo when you use a flashlight. So not a big deal to me anyway. Now that we've seen the beam shots, it's time for the time-lapse test. What we're gonna be doing is testing the high mode using a CR123A battery. Here is the runtime information of the high mode for its included battery. The Baton Turbo's included battery can run at 300 lumens um, full brightness for about 103 minutes before gradually stepping down to 20% brightness for an additional 18 minutes. So roughly two hours total of runtime here. We're gonna see if the Baton Turbo using Power Owl CR123A battery can match that, um, maintain that brightness, and see how much runtime we get from this little cell. This thing does claim more milliamp hour capacity, so we're gonna have to put that to the test. 
let's check it out. Um, how I do time lapses on this channel, very unsophisticated, <laughs> low production value on this channel. I'm just gonna set this clock to noon, start the time lapse so we can watch the clock tick, see what the flashlight does, how it performs. Let's get into it. Doing time lapses on this channel has taught me that whatever it is that I expect is probably not gonna be what I find. And this one's no exception. So once again, with the included 18350 battery from Olight on high mode, expect to get about two hours total runtime. At least that's what's in their manual. But we're already at hour, you know, coming up on hour six here, still going, and the output seems pretty good. Uh, pretty, pretty strong output. It's dropping down ever so gradually, but definitely usable light all the way to eight and a half hours. That's when I stopped the test, and here's a look at that output after the test is concluded. Still very usable. You do not really seem to get any other modes other than low. So pretty interesting. There might be like a slight little change in output when you try to cycle modes, but for the most part, you're pretty much getting low, but that's after eight and a half hours. So I was pretty surprised and pretty happy with that output. It seems like the milliamp hour capacity from Power Owl seems to be accurate. And if you are in the market for good CR123A batteries, a link to this eight pack from Power Owl will be in the description below. I assume they're lithium metal, um, not lithium ion. It just says lithium, but they're not rechargeable. But um, in any case, they have great capacity. So there you have it, the Baton Turbo CR123A battery combo. Interesting uh, things that we found in this video are that the status illuminators don't seem to function um, other than when you first plug it in, they all turn green to let you know basically that it's a successful connection, I assume. Um, you don't get turbo, but you do still get your regular moonlight through high modes. Those output settings seem to remain the same. And then one thing I learned is that somehow, I mean, it must be battery chemistry, a difference in power density or something like that. Um, even though this is a smaller battery, more milliamp hour capacity seems to be um, in these CR123 batteries. At least these ones from Power Owl. I'm very impressed with these. Um, and then this one's obviously rechargeable, so that's a benefit um, that's included with the Olight Baton Turbo. So um, cool to have the options. I'm a big fan of options, as I always say. More options for the consumer, the better. But I'm glad this little light can take its included rechargeable battery or some of these CR123As. Hope this video helped you in some way. Hope you learned something new like I did. Um, if you found value from the video, please leave a like on it. It helps me out. Otherwise, have a great day. Hope to catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless you. See you in the next one. Bye.